a Pisces. This is Esoteric Tales and Tarot, the outdoors edition. I'm blaming um, Aquarians for the for the energy, but also, you know, you being the water signs, I've been all over the place with my energy. So I needed to come out and put my feet on the ground to do these readings. Um, and perhaps that's something that you need to be reminded of as well, Pisces. Maybe you've had a bit of emotional uh, energy going on because I was picking that up through the crystal ball as well. So there's lot, really high emotions. It must be the moon cycle that we're in. I found the full moon really hard to deal with the last few days. I just haven't been able to sleep and not um, back down to normal. I've just got a big plane going over. It looks like a Cathay Pacific. So... Um, maybe that's got something to do with your jet setting off somewhere. How amazing, a giant plane heading over. You could probably hear it. That's the beauty of being outside. I get even more, um, I, even more connectedness to, to you. Um, being near water, really important. I saw you swimming as well in the, in the crystal ball. So... Are you going somewhere with a swimming pool or do you have a swimming pool outside or are you going to be um, suddenly taking up swimming? That was something or is it, you know, I've had another message with swimming pools being closed down if we don't use them. So that's actually an important message that I've been getting for all signs to talk about um, swimming pools. Here comes the seagulls as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, seagull flock of seagulls going over so look up the um, spiritual meaning for seagulls they're probably going to be important to you too Pisces you've got all the action coming through I've got uh, this is the um, book of Toth the the tarot deck and you've got some um, big cards coming out here a couple of major arcanas and uh, an ace so let's get into it you have uh, the Virgo card, so that could be energy that is coming through. So the Hermit in the normal, you know, in the Rider Waite deck here. So this is an, uh, a copy of a 19th century deck that was the first one that was made complete for uh, divination as well. So it's, um, you know, a bit different, but still depicts the same kinds of, of characters. So again, this kind of going within for, for inner wisdom, there's a lantern here with a candle burning you know <laughs> i've just heard has the power gone out so there could be something that happens this month where the power goes out briefly as well pisces or for you know you might need keep candles and torches beside you i don't know why i heard that but um you know keep that by you uh you've got a little dog here too that could be of meaning to you uh, yeah, Virgos being part of this reading, but looking here for at um, history and going back, something that you might want to be studying at the moment to do with, with the past, because I'm hearing that as I'm looking at the old uh, building here. You've got um, fresh, passionate energy coming in. So if you've uh, found a new relationship, this is where uh, the rubber hits the road. Or if there's somebody in mind, you're really thinking about them because, yeah, you have... Um, for me, this is real uh, passion, energy, passion and drive. So if there's a new projects or something that you're taking up, you've really got that here. You've got that coming through. So um, take advantage of that kind of energy because it doesn't come through all, this, all of the time. And it's fire sign energy here. So your, your Leos, your Sagittarius and your Aries. So, you know, having uh, comes, it's rods, but it's batons in this deck. So the ace of that is one that's very powerful, a start of that minor arcana with a lot of energy behind it. So if you've got uh, a new project or something that you want to, like I said, a new passion, a new person that you want to go after them, you can, you can definitely manifest that now. You have the star card um, here that is beside it. So uh, new interests, again, brilliant ideas coming through here. So uh, improvement. So, you know, it's got all of the, the star signs represented around uh, the outside of the old zodiac uh, deck here. So interesting there that you've come up with. That's represented by... Um, Aquarius and it's got that kind of nighttime energy to it so 
that could be a perfect time for you to be out and go out underneath the stars make your wishes don't forget to talk to your angels and guides a good time for manifesting you are going to be able to harness the energy of the moon for your advantage so be able to peek behind the curtain and get information um, you'll have that type of energy which is very water and emotion sign being able to uh, I'm hearing probe gosh that could be because of that one um, yeah you've got that kind of energy now pa the passion energy and look you've got more um, batons more rods here more fire so okay the the nine here the nine of rods so and underneath it the six of ro of, of batons so victory but letting down your guard letting down letting people in to be able to um, assist too with your thoughts maybe you need maybe you're going to have guidance counsel perhaps somebody coming through who could be a good mentor for ideas that you, that you have as well it's a nice reading for you Pisces it's good for um, it, it's good because I feel as though there could be somebody from um, through the veil somebody from heaven who's helping you know an ancestor an angel a guide who's helping to bring in um, this passionate energy or somebody who's passionate about something that you want to create i'm going to grab your magical spell card from the lucy cavendish deck a lovely deck that i've been able to um, purchase from a woman who was getting rid of her uh, decks which she actually didn't use and um, i feel very blessed because they're basically unused cards and uh, these are rarer decks that I've been able to um, become the custodian of, which is really nice. So you've got the spell card 25. And look at that cute little um, elf or pixies and fairies sort of here in the card with the moon there too. So it could be again this moon or nighttime energy where you're coming up with new ideas. I'm seeing the freshness of this, her sitting on a little mushroom there. Um, good cheer. I absolutely love that one. I'm going to read the the spell that goes with this card for you. I'm liking the idea of some good cheer for you Pisces. So good cheer spell. Every morning for a week, squeeze a juicy lime into pure water and drink it before your breakfast. I'm sure it would work with other citrus too if you don't have limes. Immediately after, say three times, joyous laughter ringing out no matter what it is about. With a kind heart and a sense of glee, may good cheer rule so mote it be. Be sure to burn the essential oils of grapefruit, lime, orange or bergamot throughout the day to enhance the magical power of laughter and cheer. That is so lovely. So, you know, this is what you need more of. So the angels and guides are bringing you something, you know, you need some more um, cheer to come out. I love that one for you. And just for those who have um, somebody in mind who they're not with, and they're thinking about them so this is those people who like to call them twin flames or soulmates that you're unable to be with at the moment i'm getting a fun message from this little naked truth um, deck that has all sorts of messages it's for those who who are single though not for people who are in um, coupled relationships <laughs> The grass wasn't greener. I regret my actions. I'm a fool. So that could be of meaning to some uh, Pisces out there. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this has been of help. And I've got a lot more readings that I do throughout uh, the month. So yeah, tune back in for some more, um, you know, fun on this channel. Um, thanks for being with me. Please uh, like, share and subscribe. It's helping to grow my channel. I'm absolutely loving my subscribers. Um, they're starting to grow. Thank you so much, Pisces. I'll check in with you soon. Bye.